Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Eric, and in today's episode, we're going to be focusing on creating our last state for our finite state vending machine, and that is the update state. <music> Now, in the last tutorial, we focused on creating the calculate state, which basically calculates the total cost of our user's order. And not only that, we also added the code that will be necessary to accept the user's payment. And from there, using if else statement, we checked whether the user's payment is a valid amount, meaning that if the payment was greater than the amount that the user can pay or the payment is less than the cost, which means that the user doesn't have enough money to pay for the order or the payment is less than zero, meaning the value is negative, then it would show you don't have enough money. Otherwise, it would proceed with all the calculations for updating the user's wallet by deducting the payment, as well as adding the change back to the user's wallet, if any, and then updating the current status to update, which will take us to the next case, which we're working on today, which is the update state. Okay, so let's do that, shall we? So inside the update state is where we're going to update the inventory after the user paid the money. Because after all, we want to give our user the drinks that he or she deserved. And we don't want to hold on to it because we're not working on a vending machine that scams people after all, right? <laughs> okay, but anyways, all jokes aside, let's create a switch statement inside the update case as our first line of code. And then inside the parentheses, we would access the data member for our selected soda for the brand name. So selected soda dot brand name. And then inside the curly brackets, we would list out the sodas again. And then inside the default statement, let's just say error and then current state equals to select and then see out double end line and then break. Okay, awesome. So what we're gonna work on now is inside the Coke case, we're going to update the inventory. So we know that for our case, the vending machine for Coke is the zero if item dot inventory equals the vending machine zero, which is the current amount inside our vending machine for Coke minus the order quantity. And that will update the vending machine's inventory to deduct the amount that was ordered. And then we would add current state equals select. That way it'll take the user back to the beginning. And then we do the same thing for the next two sodas. So copy those three lines of code we just typed and paste it into Pepsi and 7up. And as usual, make sure you update the index values after you do that. So 0 to 1 and then 0 to 2. Okay, one more thing before we end off this case, and that is outside of the switch statement, let's type in cout inventory updated and line and then current state equals select and then see out and line and line okay so that's basically it for the update case so let's compile and run this program okay so let's say we order coke 100 and then let's say how many drinks do you like let's say all of it so 10 and then let's say how much do you want to pay let's see let's give it all so we could check the change and as you can see, it shows, thank you, your change is 90,000 points. Inventory has been updated. And then now, if you check the current status that was printed out, it shows 100 represents Coke has zero drinks because we ordered 10 drinks total after all. And it, all, it only started off as 10 total for Coke. But anyways, as you can see, not only that, inside our student status, it shows Eric has 90,000 points total, which is correct. Because at the beginning, we started off with 100,000 and then we spent 10,000 on 10 Cokes. So if we were to try to order Coke again, let's see what would happen. So 100, and then let's say one Coke, enter. And as you can see, it shows not enough 100 in stock. So that means it works. Okay, and as you can see, it shows zero, 10, 10 still, and then 90,000 still. Okay, perfect. So let's say we wanted to order all of the seven up, so 300, and then actually, let's not order all the seven up, let's just order six. And it shows the total cost is 18,000 because after all, 
the seven up is let's see three thousand points each so three thousand times six is eighteen thousand so let's say we used fifty thousand so fifty thousand and bam as you can see it shows coke is zero still pepsi is 10 because we didn't order any at all and seven up has four left and not only that our wallet has updated leaving 72,000 points total left perfect right so as you can see our program works just fine just as the beginning of the project one series and congratulations you have completed your very first c programming project now there are other projects out there that you can work on but I decided to focus on a simple vending machine. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And not only that, subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.